Keep your eye on the black. This is going to go in as fast as lightning. Watch this off at knuckle. Well, I did tell you that now. I'm not the best snooker player in the world, right? But what I do, I put the time in so I know that I know the angles, I know what the knuckles do, so all you people who keep asking me about it, oh is it a fluke and all that, no it isn't, but if you do the knuckle shot you get a couple of bites at the cherry, but if you catch it right it kicks back with backspin off it and as you've just seen, <laughs> perfect wasn't it, perfect. This is one of my favourite shots, the knuckle shot, you ready? <laughs> it's uh it's not called the knuckle shot for no, it's like a BOOM! It's the Carl Froch against George Groves. BOOM! <sighs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, Sunday morning, uh, the night after the matchroom show. Uh, just going to back up a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to give an opinion on some fights that I've liked to, that I would have liked to have gone to, but I didn't go to. So I'm a casual this weekend. Uh, probably because I ain't got a passport for one of them. Right, Baturbia against Gavosdijk, two undefeated guys going at it, everybody knows I'm a big Baturbia fan, I have been since he won a world gold, he won it in Milan, uh, I remember telling Carl Froch a few years ago, this kid's going to be good, and he said yeah he is, uh, I like Baturbia, he's the only guy out there at the moment who's a world champion and he's knocked everybody out that he's fought. He's the only guy out there. I think underneath him you've got Wilder, so he's a bigger puncher than Wilder. Although Wilder's had 40 odd fights, hasn't he? But Turbo has only had 15, but it's the level of op opposition that he's fought really good in it. So, unified light heavyweight champion. And that division is now why Joe Gallagher's not going to put Callum Smith out as a light heavyweight because they don't want to meet guys like that, do they? So, he's classed as the bogeyman of the division. He beat Kovalev twice in, in amateurs. Uh, he's beat, basically, he lost to Usek, didn't he, in amateurs in a close fight. But uh, he is the real deal. When he hits you, he hurts you. Uh, I know somebody that knows Bob Achise, Bob Achise, so should I say, he's the Leeds kid. And uh, he was hitting him with 16 ounce gloves on, inspiring and lifting Bob Achisave off the floor. And Bob Achisave said, I have never been hit like that in my life, not even off heavyweights. So that's why he is the biggest puncher in world boxing. Artur Baturbia, my favourite fighter. So. Now that Carl Froch has gone, it's Baturbia. Uh, obviously, as as regards kids around here, Josh Wales, my man, and he cost I signed him for Dennis dinner. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Now I'm glad he won. So getting back to uh, <laughs> getting back to the matchroom show. Uh, <laughs> old Eddie Ern, he can't help himself, can he? 
<laughs> Eddie, Earn <laughs> Eddie Earn's talking. Uh... Oh God. Uh, do you know what? Where's boxing heading at the moment when you've got Eddie Hearn punting Lewis Ritson against Josh Taylor at St James Park on pay-per-view? <laughs> oh my God! And uh, Ritson admitting that uh, he'll take a beating as well. Jeez, is this what is this what it's all about? Is it now? Getting kids to a payday and getting yourself your 20%. Is that where boxing's heading now? What am I involved with here? What am I involved with here? You know, Dennis keeps saying to me, you've got to hang in there, you know. You, you, know, I, you know, I can see now why a, a, AJ Hobson just walked away from boxing now. I can see now. I can see why. He probably don't like where boxing's heading. And I, I feel the same way. So I feel his pain because he's passionate about the sport and loves it. He doesn't miss a show on TV, but it just doesn't all seem right what's going on, in it? I mean, we've got Dave Allen, who oh, he's likeable, isn't he? He was my neighbour for five years on the same street, same postcode, but I've got Dave Allen there uh, dictating on Twitter to Frank Warren. I mean... Darren Barker in background pulling his strings, telling him what to say. And Eddie there, because they know they're going to get a slice of cake, don't they? I mean, what, what what's going on here? What, what What's going on? You know, when I got involved with this, right? I went out of my way. I drove Dennis Hobson crazy. I drove him mad. And eventually, he just got me in a headlock and he said, Go on then, you're on board. I drove him mad. I drove him mad. Honestly, I drove him mad. Probably because I'm likeable, aren't I? But I drove him mad. And do you know what? I don't like what I see. I don't like. I don't like what I see. I don't like. I'm. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. It's. Let's just get kids to a pay per view and cash them in. And let's create an aura. I mean, Lewis Ritson's not gone. We might as well start with Ed, headline show, aren't we? I mean, I saw the fight, right? I couldn't make a case for a draw. I couldn't make a case for them scores. I think Robbie Davis Jr. has got a feel. He's got a feel wrong, Danny. Because he, he was never going to win that fight, Robbie Davis Jr., was he? If he'd have given another 20% going on them scores, he was never going to win it. You've got to stop Ritson to win, haven't you? All Ritson's got to do is get the rounds out, hasn't he? And go to points and win on point. If he can survive... 36 minutes against Robbie Davis Jr. Lewis Ritson gets the win over Robbie Davis Jr. Do you know what? I feel for Robbie Davis Jr. I feel his pain this morning. I can feel it now. Do you know what I mean? And who'd have said I'd be up the day after my 49th birthday? Who'd have said I'd be up the day after and up early putting the, putting the effort in? But honestly... <laughs> Ah. Lewis Ritson, pay-per-view St James Park. What on earth is going on? What the F you dot dot is going on? What What's going on here? Lewis Ritson has not won a European title yet. He got beat at European level. David Price got beat at European level. What next? David Price in, uh, in a pay-per-view fight at Anfield. What's going on here? What's going on? AJ Hobson, I know why you walked away now, mate. I can understand. Um, but do you know what? You know what I respect from all through all this? Den just keeps soldiering on, doesn't he? Dennis Hobson, he just keeps soldiering on. Mum and Dad have died. Fighters failing drug tests. Whether Liam did it or not, or he picked, touched some money with a bit of cocaine on, or what, whatever's gone on, or if he's drinking some dodgy water in Darnell, whatever's happened, then just keep soldiering on. And I suppose you've got to do, haven't you? Unless you can be like me, a crybaby. I just. 
they're getting pay-per-views for kids now that are not pay-per-view standard. They always revert back to Carl Frotch, don't they? For a simple reason. You know, you, you can go on his record now. You can go on Carl's record and you can say, do you know what? He could have had another eight pay-per-view fights, couldn't he? Another eight. He were robbed of eight pay-per-view fights because of the system. But now, oh, it's okay. Let's create a bit of a following. And I mean, we've got Dave Allen, right? Not getting on at Dave Allen. He's done well, hasn't he? He owns half a Cunnies Bernard, doesn't he? <laughs> we've got Dave Allen there, right? He's not won an area belt. And he's dictating to Frank Warren on Twitter about massive amounts of money. And he's getting all that free PR, which is good, isn't it? He's got more PR there and as if he won as if he won a world title. So he gets it, Dave, doesn't he? But let's see Dave Allen it going in the gym. Let's see Dave Allen up in the morning and doing a run. Do you mind going up to Newcastle and getting on treadmill next morning in front of matchroom lads to just send message of her? No, no, no. Let's see you running around up viaducts in the morning, David. Taking it serious and not wasting your talents. Do you know what I mean? But, is that where boxing's heading now, where well, we've got Dave Allen dictating to Frank Warren? I don't know, but Dave has me in stitches at times, but I think, is it more like, go again but repeat the same story, is it, I don't, what's going on here? Lewis Ritson, right, would get mullered against Josh Taylor, what? What's he just sent me? What's he just sent me? It, you know, it's crazy, isn't it? Parko, what did Louis Ritson say? Did he say that he'd get beat, get mullered? So if Louis Ritson's saying he's going to get mullered against Josh Taylor, why take the fight if you're not ready? Oh, it's pay-per-view, it's St. James Park, we're going to get paid, we'll get a million quid. What is going on? And another thing I want to touch on as well, Scott Fitzgerald won by two clear rounds, in my opinion. I thought he won by two clear rounds. Uh, I like Ted Cheeseman, I'm a Ted Cheeseman fan, I like, I like his style, he's, he's fan-friendly. He's got miles on clock though now, hasn't he, but... Scott Fitzgerald won that fight, and I don't want to see Fitzgerald foul the rematch. Why? Fitzgerald beat him, and he dropped him. So why is Fowler there begging on social media? Why? Anthony Fowler, stick to charging £25 for a voice message on your, on your, on your, uh, on your social media. But uh, Anthony the Machine Fowler, oh my God. No doubt Penfold, Dave Caldwell will be pulling strings in the background for that one, won't you? Penfold, come see me. Uh, other than that, shout out to those people on uh, comment section. I'm looking at comment section on my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, people, somebody mentioning uh, that he'd been in jail with me. No, I don't think you have, mate. I've always had a single cell. Uh, who else? Were, who else were commenting on there? Somebody was saying he's going to knock me out at a Ricky Atten event that Dennis is uh, doing. I'll be there on the night. You're more than welcome to turn up. Go and buy a ticket, hundred pound, and come see me. All right. Don't chat knackers on social media. Come and see me. People keep saying they're going to come and see me at these Dennis Hobson events and that, and nobody turns up. It's all wind and piss. But I'm glad Scott Fitzgerald won. Who's the other one? Savannah Marshall won. Well done, Savannah. I'm glad you won. I hope you're well. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you the other day when I went to see Peter. Uh, they were scranning in the restaurant while you, while you were on, but you're living over there now, aren't you? So you can go home and uh, cook your own food, can't you? But I hope you're well. Uh, shout out to JJ Crump and son. Back in channel, Innovation Alloys and Climate Cool, South Yorkshire packaging. It's all looking good for Porky's Corner, isn't it? Thank you very much. Uh, shout out to these here for, for giving me this. 
this is like every schoolboy's dream, I suppose, isn't it? Although I'm not at school no more. But it would have been nice to uh, to have this when I were young. Free snooker, who mate? Really am. So that's nice. Uh, so uh, everything's good, really, in my life at the moment. I'm very, very happy. I'm in a better place. It feels weird to get up the day after my birthday. Or, oh, well, not get up, I suppose, because normally I'd be up at windows when I like that. Looking through windows thinking that people are coming to get me. Or that old Bill are coming for me, or somebody's watching me, or I'd be there with my camera, wouldn't I? I'd be there with this camera here. So, They're watching me, I'm watching them! <laughs> but now I got up this morning, walked my dog, had a smoothie, come down here, and uh, I'm just about to uh, put. Uh, let me see how much I've got on here. Have a look. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three hundred and five minutes. Three hundred and four minutes to go. So when that gets down to three hundred minutes, then I'm gonna put the my time in. Try and get my touch right. I might do a few trick shots. Uh, I like to do them off at knuckle because if you cre you can create backspin. Uh, there was something I wanted to mention, I've just had a, an email this morning from a young kid, young Tom, how are you doing Tom? Uh, I'm going to send a, the, the, you're asking why I tap the cue on the side Tom aren't you? It's to take, before I take my shot, it's to take residue off the, off the, uh, off the cue ball, for example, when you put chalk on Tom, so I know you've got a table because you sent me a picture of it. And that's how I started Tom, on a 6x3. So, and you build up to a big table. Right, when you put your chalk on Tom, right, some people blow it off. I think that's a bit cheesy, so before I take my shot, I usually get a tap on the side of the table and it takes it off. If you don't, what happens is, let me just show you, right. And you get down to the shot, you're getting down to the shot, and you leave them, you leave it on the table and that can affect run at ball. Or don't forget also, when it hits the tip, if it don't fall off when you go down to the shot off the tip, it'll hit the cue ball and it'll leave chalk on the on the on the ball. Now, if you're going for a tight shot or you're trying to do something with the cue ball, it can throw it can throw it off or give you a kick. So that's why when I get down, I always give it a little tap. So alright, but other than that. It's all good, isn't it? It's all, it's all good. So, all right. So, that's about it, really. Uh, so, I'm going to put five hours in now. Five hours, and then I'm going to nip up, up, nip up home at one o'clock, and uh, probably have a check on the internet, see what's been going on, see who said what. So, peace out. Right, and as you can see, I'm on the pink. I'm snookered behind the black. So I'm going to do what we call in the industry. I'm saying that like I'm a professional, and I'm not. But what we call this shot is a Massé shot, or I call it a Paul Massé shot. All right, he's from Manchester. He was shot dead a few years ago. May he rest in peace. All right. There you go, I'm going to do that for a shot. Black in the middle bag. This bag here.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Good night. I'm really busy on the bit, that's all, folks.